Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Brooke and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to get the confidence to show up online. If you like this video I would absolutely appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I release videos about confidence, about growing your online business, about NLP, hypnosis and coaching. So make sure you subscribe if you like those things. Okay, let's get into today's video. I received a question recently on my Instagram about how to get the confidence to do an Instagram live or an Instagram story and I totally totally get that because when I first started the world of Instagram, the world of online business, being an online entrepreneur, being a coach online, all that stuff that is involved in having a personal brand, I was so scared so scared to show up on stories to go live i remember the first time i ever did live i was so so scared um even youtube when i first started doing youtube videos i don't have that many um available right now but like the first ones that i ever did which were like fitness stuff that is long gone um i was really really scared so i totally get it so i want to share with you how to get the confidence to show up online the first tip that I have for you is that confidence is not something you get. Confidence is something that you decide to embody. We all have conditions that we set for ourselves based on when we will allow ourselves to feel a certain way. So what allows me to feel confident isn't gonna be the same thing for the next person or the next person because we all have our own individual conditions. So it might be like when I've done it once, when I've seen someone else do it, when I've done it five times, they like we're all gonna have different conditions like that around when we'll allow ourselves to feel anything. And this is like for any feeling, confidence, abundance, love, anything like that, we all set our own conditions. So the first thing to know is that confidence is not something you get, it's something that you decide to embody. So, And you can do that right now, and in the end of the video, I'm gonna share some really great tips on how you can do that. Um, I just really wanted to make sure we cover that first because that's a really, really important part. The next thing, and I, I touched on this already, is the conditions. So make note of the conditions that you're setting for yourself when you will allow yourself to feel confident and just have a little think about it when you are going to do something new or something for the first time or whatever whenever you have a feeling of confidence come over you have a look think back tap into that feeling and have a look at it and see what allowed you or how you gave yourself permission to feel that certain way because nothing external to us gives us the ability to feel or do or whatever anything we always it could be it might seem like something external to us is giving us permission to or the ability to feel a certain way but that's actually not the case we have given ourselves permission to feel a certain way based on that thing showing up or not showing up or whatever so have a look into the conditions that you set for yourself on when you'll feel confident about a certain thing um, the next thing that I want to share with you about this is to just get started just get started um, for me I had a coach at the time when I was like first starting out um, who told me she kind of like I don't want to say forced me but she was like very very stern and um, it was that kick in the butt that I needed to get started and to just do it and she said shared some really great advice about that um, and mostly it's just like once you do it the first time it'll just get easier and easier and easier and easier and it really it really really does it really really does just like driving the first time you ever get in a car you're like I don't know what the heck I'm doing but as you do it more and more and more it just becomes second nature because you start to learn and your brain and your body starts to learn that it's actually safe to do the thing that you are trying to do so when you do it more and more you get more and more comfortable with it and it will actually spread out into other areas of your life so for me um, I was mostly podcasting and it was podcasting and talking to a microphone on my own for an hour or so at a time and even interviewing people it was doing these things that then shifted the the feelings of confidence into other areas so I was able to show up more live I was able to record YouTube videos I was able to talk to strangers I was able to do all of these other things because my body and my mind had realized that that thing that was very similar was safe so get started now 
don't wait for a certain amount of followers. Don't wait for a certain uh, whatever. It's start now. Seriously, that was like the biggest thing was just getting started and just doing the darn thing. Now, something that I've shared on my um, podcast before and something that I think really, really helped me. Um, there's been a number of times in the past year or so where people have said to me, you're so confident or you're fearless or whatever it is. And honestly, like when people say that stuff to me, I'm like, me? What? No. I, what? How? But it's true. I have developed so much more confidence than I used to have. And I'm going to share with you how I did that. So for me, I do a lot of um, manifestation practices and I actually manifested having confidence. And the way that I do that is to literally just repeat to myself, I'm so grateful, I'm so confident. I'm so grateful I am able to go live on Instagram so easily. I am so grateful that I love to make YouTube videos and that I'm confident in making YouTube videos. I'm so grateful that I am confident when I talk on my podcast and when I interview people. All of that stuff, honestly, that helped so, so, so much. Even writing it all down in my journal, writing it down as I want it to be, not as I don't want it to be. So I don't write like, I wish I was more confident. I write, I am confident, or I'm so grateful I have so much confidence. Um, and always future focused, so focused on the future. And I always like to write it in actual past tense. So I am so grateful that I did that thing that I was scared to do and I loved it. I'm so grateful that I went on Instagram live and there were so many people who showed up and so many comments and everyone had a great time and learned. So they are, that's my, my biggest tip. And honestly, like the one that I think created the biggest amount of transformation and internal shifts for me. So just to recap on what I covered in this video, the first thing is that you don't get confidence. Confidence is something that you decide to embody. The second thing is paying attention to the conditions that you set for yourself around when you allow yourself to feel a certain way and you can change that. The third thing is to, what was the third thing? The third thing is to start right now. And the final thing was to manifest confidence by affirming to yourself that you have confidence already, feeling those feelings of confidence inside your body. And when you do all of these things that I shared, your mind and your body are going to learn that what you want to do is safe and it's going to less and less try to convince you that you shouldn't do it or that you can't do it. But you have to take control here. You are responsible for everything that you achieve in your life and you have to decide if you're going to continue listening to those negative thoughts in your head or if you're just going to say, shut up, buy negative thoughts and take action and do the thing anyway. So I hope this was helpful for you. Honestly, everything that I've shared is what has helped me create huge transformation and shifts in my life. It's what I share with my clients and all of my students. So I, uh, I know that you got something from this. I would love to hear in the comments just down below what you got from it, what your favorite tip was, and if you have any tips to help anyone else who's watching this video who would like to get more get more confidence or embody more confidence let us know and don't forget to subscribe thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video